water surges over Barranjuk Dam as once again New South Wales is gripped by disastrous floods. As the Lachlan, Murrumbidgee and Macquarie rivers rise dangerously, scores of towns and hamlets are inundated. This is Wagga, a town besieged by flood water that can't be checked as it sweeps into homes and shops. And only a few months ago, the countryside nearby was ablaze with bushfires. Disaster follows disaster. Ironically, in this flooded town, men are meeting now to assess bushfire damage. The swirling water is feet deep in many homes, destroying possessions, weakening foundations, and coating with mud what it leaves behind. Army ducks patrolling the street streams rescue scores of people from roofs, take food to others isolated by the water. Roads are closed, impassable, but trains still get through, seemingly inches above the flood. The story of Wagga is repeated in Forbes, Narandera, and Dublin, and many minor towns. In Wagga and Forbes alone, 6,000 people are homeless. Hundreds more depend on army ducks for supplies. Many of the flooded homes will be uninhabitable for weeks, and then only after the heartbreaking task of cleaning up the silt and slime that will cover furniture, walls and floors as the rivers subside. Wagga's main street is a tributary of the Murrumbidgee and the business centre is paralysed. New South Wales Minister for Social Services, Mr Finnan, has estimated damage in the state by floods at 10 million pounds. Shopkeepers wait behind hastily built brick walls, hoping the water will not rise further. The floods are a personal tragedy too for the homeless. Refugees from a muddy tide that could not be checked. Whole families, some aged, some only babies, queue at food centres for a hot meal. These people can't reckon their losses yet. They won't know until they can go back home. And they'll be joined soon by more refugees, rescued by ducks from buildings already awash. Helpless victims of the worst flood since 1887. In Victoria, the Barwon River bursts its banks near Geelong and becomes a raging torrent. Geelong is the state's second city, only 45 miles from Melbourne. Flood dangers acute too in Gippsland and the northeast of the state. At Geelong itself, 50 homes have flooded, 250 people evacuated, woolen mills and industrial plants close, throwing thousands out of work. It's the worst flood in the area's history. On Geelong Aerodrome, aircraft are up to their engines and water as the swelling floods sweep out and cover the entire field. Army men who work day and night in ducks rescuing people and salvaging property find a marooned horse a bit of a problem. If he were a seahorse now, it would be a horse of a different colour. As the Bowen continues to rise, more and more people are evacuated from homes in the path of the flood. Men, women and children, powerless to stop the waters that rush unchecked over the river's banks. Among those rescued are migrants, people who came to Australia to escape hardship, to start a new life, and now find themselves fighting a freak flood. For thousands of people in New South Wales and Victoria, there's nothing to do but wait until the water subsides. Then they'll be able to go back home. But to what?